All right, good morning, Cornerstone. It's good to see everybody. Uh, we're going to read from our devotional today. Hope you're excited. I know there's uh, not much school left, so uh, I'm excited that uh, we get these special uh, last few days here together. Let's go ahead and read. This one's called Wanna Play. Maybe you've been outside playing a lot. Ask the animals, and they will teach you. Or ask the birds of the air, and they'll tell you. Every one of those knows that the hand of the Lord has done this. Job 12, 7-9 through Have you ever watched a little kitten bat a piece of string? Or send a puppy running to play fetch for a ball? Or watched a group of otters at the zoo twisting and whirling through the water? Just like you, animals like to play. Baby horses chase each other and toss around sticks and rags. Baby kangaroos love to play fight with their moms. And certain kinds of fish will jump playfully over turtles and twigs. But it's dolphins that are perhaps the most known for their playfulness. Of course, they can put on quite a show at aquariums, but even in the wild, dolphins can be seen leaping into the air. Spinner dolphins launch themselves high into the air and spin around and around, while dusky dolphins like to add a flip. Scientists believe animals play for several different reasons. To practice life skills, to communicate with each other, or perhaps just for the sheer joy of playing in God's creation. The last reason may be the very best reason for all of us to play. God created this world for his people, not only to live in and take care of, but also to enjoy. God didn't have to make the flowers in so many different beautiful colors. He didn't have to create puddles to jump in, trees to climb, or hills to go rolling down, but he did. He didn't have to make so many kinds of delicious fruits and vegetables, but he did. So today, take time to enjoy all the wonders of this world that God has made. Let the animals teach you a thing or two. Go outside and play. Let's read our Be Amazed. Everyone knows puppies and kittens play, but crocodiles? It's true. Scientists have observed crocodiles using their snouts to blow bubbles in the water and snap playfully at the waves. They've also been spotted playing with flowers and carrying them in their teeth. These scary, scaly beasts have even been known to give each other piggyback rides. That sounds like a lot of fun. Well, I hope you, today you can go outside and you can play and you can have fun after your remote learning, though. All right, let's go ahead and pray. Lord Jesus, we come in your name. So, so very thankful that um, you've created this world um, and it's all telling us about who you are. Every blade of grass is singing a song of praise to you. Every tree reminds us that you're big and strong. Every beautiful sky is a reminder, God, of your creative artistry. And yet, Lord, in the so many amazing ways um, that we see you at work in creation, we also see you at work in our hearts. And so we pray, God, that today that we be reminded of how much you love us as we pray, uh, play outside and uh, experience the beauty of your creation. May we also marvel at your beauty in loving those who didn't deserve it. God, you're so fantastic, so loving, so awesome. We pray, God, that you would help us think about these things all day today. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, have a great day. See ya.